What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness. Squatting seven wheels at Metroflex Gym, the original Metroflex Gym in Arlington, Texas, for a single. Now, real quickly, this is the very first time I've been on any seven wheels in about 25 to 30 years. I'm serious. Six wheels, probably 15 to 20 years. No need, no desire. Don't even know why I thought about doing this today. But except for the pure fact that I have been training on these bars, the kinetic bars, you'll see me using the White Rhino and the uh, Rhino Flex HD in several of my videos, it has done nothing but make my joints, tendons, accessories, and kinetics stronger. Therefore, being so, so strong mentally, physically, and safety-wise, I thought I'd go ahead and jump it up to six wheels. And that was my goal, to be able to squat six wheels for one rep. Now, of course, I've got the bands on there. Those are the safety bands. I believe they help 50 to 75 pounds at the bottom. Uh, you'll see the resistance once I start to squat. But again, five wheels, you've seen me got, you, you guys have seen me squat. You've seen me bench. You've seen me deadlift with the Rhinoflex HD bar, the tan bar that I'm using in a lot of videos uh, for several reps. And I just felt great. I thought, you know what, heck, I'm going to try six wheels for a rep or two. It was easy. I could have done 10. I stopped at six because I knew in my mind after the fourth rep, I wanted to bump it up. After I racked the weight, my spotter, Steven, I'll put his link in the description box. He's over there for some amazing intense slaps and uh, support. He said, man, you ought to just try seven wheels. I think you got it. And immediately it clicked. I do have it. I've done it before. I've been training on these bars for the last year and a half to two years. And I feel like that the accessories and the, the connectors in the muscles uh, are ready. They're prepared. And it's not going to happen overnight. I've been doing this again for 38 years, but going downhill for about 20 years, but going back uphill the last couple, three or four years that I've utilized these types of uh, equipment. The band bell is an amazing tool that you guys, powerlifters, bodybuilders, people with injuries, rehab, uh, people just trying to get stronger and better muscularity should probably look into. I'll put information in the description box. You guys check that out. Go to a gym that has one. Try it. Of course, it's a lot lighter, but it gives you that flexion on the downward uh, fulcrum of the movement to not pound you. It's almost like you're in the, stuck in the snow or the mud in your car and you're going from reverse to drive back and forth and just wearing those gears out. That's what you're doing when you're bench pressing or you're shoulder pressing or you're squatting or you're deadlifting. Of course, you signed up for it. That's what you know is going to happen. However, if you could find a way to not disrupt the tendons and the joints and accessories as much as if you weren't, wouldn't you try it? That's what these bars are doing for me. I had to be convinced several times that I needed to try the bar because I was like, I'm old school. I don't want to try any of that stuff. That new crap doesn't impress me. However, the new stuff now has really got me reversing the age process and it's the fountain of youth and my joints and tendons. You're only as strong as your weakest leg, correct? So if your muscles are strong enough to bench press 500, but your elbows are killing you, your shoulders are killing you, you're strong enough to squat seven or eight wheels, but the low back and the hips and the knee joints are killing you, why not train with something that's going to aid in recovering those injuries, keeping you from getting injury uh, again, getting injuries again, and strengthening those muscles that usually get injured because those tiny little connectors are not as strong as you guys think they are. The muscles are not doing all the work. The accessories are doing most of the work. If that strand pops, those muscles are going to peel away, and then you're going to be up, you know, poop creek without a paddle for years. So make sure that you understand. I'm not trying to push this bar on you. I'm trying to let you know that it's helped me, and I would highly recommend that you try it out. Link will be in the description box. Huge shout out to the Bandel crew. An amazing invention made in the USA. All the information, again, will be in the description box. That's the white rhino in the background. That's the Emacs bar that you've seen me done uh, several videos with. Uh, the Rhino Flex HD is the one that you've seen me do uh, the bench press and the deadlift and the squats for five wheels for five, 10, 15, 20 reps. Uh, man, amazing. I, I'm just excited because it's helped me. Again, 38 years of training in my 50s, injury free for the last three years. The only injuries I'm getting is a pull growing every now and then when I don't stretch properly. You got to do your dynamics. You got to do your stretching. You got to do your warm ups. You can't jump on any tons of weight and then start to. Uh, uh, a lift with heavy intensity without properly warming yourself up. Hydration, nutrition, rest, everything. You guys know this. Firing up the central nervous system. 
Um, big shout out to Mark Bell. I've got a discount code for you guys. The knee wraps that I'm wearing, the wrist straps, the sleeves that you see me wearing for Mark Bell, you get a uh, percentages off on your disc or on your purchases utilizing Big J10. That link will be in the description box as well. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, guys. I know I'm only getting four, five hundred, a thousand views on these videos, but I never signed up for YouTube to get the money. I'm here to help educate you guys, and I'm very excited to continue to introduce things that have helped me live as long as you guys have been alive. We'll see you next video.